Get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. Too late, you know. I just missed your fight. Oh, is it? <laughs> so I didn't have time to look you up on Box Rec. Oh, uh, no worries. Or your opponent. Can you just introduce yourself, please? Yeah, uh, Art of Daniel. Um, um, uh, boxer by night, dentist by day. And um, What by day? Dentist. Dental oh, you're a dentist? Yeah, yeah. From yeah. Sense. Yes. <laughs> So you want to, I'm going to get back to that, you know. You want to, who did you box today? I uh, boxed Matthew Ashmore uh, from uh, Wales. Um, I actually boxed him in um, Wigan uh, mm. in May. Yeah. Uh, but I was actually robbed, uh, you know, uh, quite badly. Uh, was, he the, was he the home fighter? No. I was actually the home fighter. There's actually something that very um, unfortunate and unpleasant happened. Uh, which I might might not I probably shouldn't say at the moment. Yeah. I found out a couple of days after, which was very upsetting to hear. So basically, um, I wasn't even playing field. So you know, I was the home fighter and so forth. It was a bit weird, but I, I, you know, I don't want to get too too much. But the ref who refereed the contest, mm. all four fights he refereed that evening, he gave to the away fighters. Yeah, it's normally the other way around. Yeah, so I don't want to go to it too much at the, at the stage, but it was very upsetting. I found out a couple of days what happened afterwards, so it was, it was very upsetting. Um, and you know, my opponent Matthew Ashwell, you know, top guy, he actually even he said to me after the fight, he goes to me, I didn't think I won the fight, mm. and he goes to me, listen, if you want, let's do it again. And I said, you know, I appreciate, it. and I was, you know, I want to thank him uh, for you know, you know, honouring that and you know, and giving me a chance to avenge that on, on my record. Um, so um, you know, so it was, it was satisfying. So, because I know um, you say you got robbed in the first fight yeah. and you're beating him today, yes. on paper it's even. So yeah. do you feel like it's even? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But to be honest, I'll, I'll be truthful. I, you know, a little, you know, I, you know, a lot of people in boxing, in both in the US and the UK, saw that fight. I sent it to them. Not a single person felt that I lost. Uh, a lot of people thought I won all four rounds. Some people thought I won three rounds to one. Mm. But everyone thought I'd won clearly. So it wasn't even so you know something. So in my heart, I knew I won. But what I wanted to do this time was I, I wanted to just stamp it out to to the extent I wanted to even see if I can push push the gear up basically and uh, you know go and force a stoppage possibly. Which you know I, I think maybe if, you know another round or two I could have got that and so forth. But but I'm, you know I'm happy um, you know and uh, you know credit to my opponent Matthew Ashmore again appreciate that for you know for uh, giving me that rematch and just like you said on paper making it even so it's quite brave of him you know because he knew he got beat the first time yeah so no, is he, is he a, a, I don't know his record is he a journeyman he is he is yeah so um, you know him giving you a second chance it's like hundred percent it's like another payday yeah you, you know it, you know it was it's uh, but you know I appreciate that you know he didn't have to he can he can you know he fights up and down the country sort of thing you know mm. so you know it was um, you know it was one of those things but you know, I appreciate that. And I've you know, I've invited him for dinner now. I said it's on me, so uh, you know, we're going to go for dinner now and have a, have a chat and so forth. So it's nice. It's like it's one of the things that, you know, before the bell can shake hands, trying to focus, you know, and it's it's all business. And then you know, after after the uh, final bell, you know, shake hands, have a hug, and you know, why not? That's, that's quite interesting because you know, at the show today. Uh, you know Nick Blackwell. Yeah, I've seen him around. I'm gonna get oh, an interview. I'm gonna try and right, get an okay. interview with him. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna ask him if there's any sort of like you know bitterness between him and Eubank still. You know, I actually Eubank spoke him in a coma. Yeah, indirectly. I spoke to I'm friends with Chris Eubank. I, I actually spoke to him um, a few months back, basically, and I asked him, you know, and he said, you know what? Uh, he said the, at that stage when I had spoken to him, um, he said. I don't think actually at that stage when I spoke to him, he, uh, Nick hadn't got back to, back to him actually. So it's quite got back to him from what though? He, he'd been reaching out to him basically. Oh, I see. He'd been reaching out. So the time, so yeah, a bit out. Well, uh, Nick Black was in a coma for a while. So. No, no, no. But when when basically he, when he came around, he did reach back to him on Twitter. So Chris had 
text, uh, tweeted him, and then he wasn't getting back. And at that stage, that's when I had spoken to Chris, and he said that you know what, I've, I've messaged him, but he hasn't got back to me. Because for me, obviously, there's, there's no hard feelings though, when I feel bad, you know, and so forth. But you know, it's uh, it's terrible. Um, and at that stage, when I had spoken to him, he hadn't got back. Then, but then, I think a few days after that, Nick had tweeted back and said, you know, it's all good and so forth. And then. But anyway, I'm not best to speak to him, yeah. yeah. Uh, you're a dentist, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. So does that mean you're middle class? I'm a what? Are you middle class? Are you like, because like boxers are normally working class, aren't they? But you seem yeah. well spoken and a dentist and, yeah. you know, socialising with uh, other middle class people like Chris Eubank, yeah. Junior. So, um, oh. how, how do you know him? How do you know him? Uh, 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 well, I... Um, I know uh, Floyd Mayweather and the, and the money team. So I'm pulling out all the names. No, today. no. But you, you asked me how I know him, so, and that's what I didn't want to say. I was, you know thinking, I was holding back. I was thinking. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, I, I, I've got a good, uh, you know, network in, in in boxing. But what it was, I go to um, Vegas and train every year uh, mm. with Floyd and the, and the money team um, with Eddie Mustafa. And during the Maidana rematch camp, uh, him, him and his dad were there, and uh, that's how we connected. So mm. we, we basically became friends from there and we stayed we kept in touch so even when you came back here yeah that's quite interesting you bank um he acts um, cold a bit cold you know in front of the cameras yeah I he acts a bit poker face but you know to know really he's got nice friends guy. really nice guy. are you on twitter yes does he follow you on twitter no he only follows his dad yeah that's, that's one of those is that, is that sort of like a a, a media it's kind of thing you know, everyone's different. Like, oh, Every, yeah, everyone's yeah. different. You know, it's it's it's. Uh, but you know, Chris himself, very nice guy. You know, the thing is, I think you know, I think Chris Eubank Jr. I think he's got another account. You know, where he follows everybody and he reads oh. every tweet. Right. But it's okay. under a different name. Right. Oh. So he's sort of like trying to act like he's above it. You know, by um, not following anybody except his dad. Everyone's different, and you know. I'm not saying he should follow. No. People. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone, people, you know. Yeah, people yeah. get upset. You know, it's one of them. <laughs> you don't need to follow anybody. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's good. That's quite. That's quite an interesting story. Yeah. No. You and you bank are mates, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's a good friend. Yeah. So, what do you think about Nick Blackwell? Do you think he's um? Got, oh, do you think he's bitter? I, you know, I, I don't know. Uh, you know, I, I hope, I, I hope not. It's one of those things. You know, boxer gets in the ring, and you know, it's that risk that everyone kind of knows. It's, uh, you know, I don't know Nick personally, but I know a few people who do know him. They've always spoken really well of him and so forth. And um, I'm sure it's just a small thing. I probably, if you speak to him, he'd probably tell you more. And yeah, I'm sure it's. I think I, I'm sure it's just a case of, you know, Chris and you know Nick getting together. You know, sitting down in a room and, and having a chat. And I'm sure it's. Just, you know, Have I'm they sure. done that before? It, uh, no, I know it was reached out and so forth, and there was there was talks of it, and I, I don't think it happened. And I know as well, speaking to Chris as well. Uh, actually, I bet I'll, I'll leave him to actually there, but he's yeah, he, he actually did make it public anyway. He said that he wanted to give his belt uh, after he's won it out, outright. He wanted to give it to Nick as well as a gesture. Mm. I suppose he said it already. In public. Did he say that to you uh, privately, or did he make it a public tweet? He made it public. He yeah, made it. Public. You know, you know, Trishiba. I know, I know you mates with him, but I think he does a lot of things for publicity. And you know, the other thing as well, you can even see as well when they had that interview with uh, some Channel Five reporter. It was I can't remember. It was the most yeah, diabolical that. interview what ever was, conducted what the, what in the, sports. What was the thing he said that was a bit dodgy? It was a bit stupid. He was asking very fixed Piers questions. Morgan, no, it wasn't Piers Morgan. Oh, no, 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 no. That was on uh, BBC ITV. I can't remember. No, no. This was another guy, and he, uh, and he was. No, I don't think it, was, it might be Chad Fire. What did he say? What, what did he say again? He basically put. A, he was just. He was, he was asking very strange questions and very sort of. Uh, uh, fixed questions where you can it's either yes or no and he's not kind of giving them a new it's like saying oh I can't remember exactly what it was it was something like do you would you do, would you regret um, do you regret doing that uh, or would you rather have pulled out or something really silly well, you know you just, just but if that just say that was the question do you regret putting him in a no, no no it wasn't that I you know I uh, just watch on YouTube. It was. Uh, I'm sure you'll find it. Yeah. It, I, I, you know. I can't remember the question. It was. It was. It was a very stupid question because it was. It was a leading question. It was saying either this or this, and not this. And it's like, and people, and they're like, you're talking about. And Chris Eubank Senior said, you know, it's you're talking about human life, which is sacred. How can you even compare 
you know, X, Y, Z. So what it is. I'll leave you to check what it, what it out. It I, I should really, sh- I feel, no, I don't know why I'm talking about this. You should speak to Chris, Chris himself and Nick himself. You know, you're talking about it's human life. So, you know, it's, yeah. it's immoral to sort of like, Chris what the thing is, like, Chris some, said that, that was, they were, they were but, but what I'm saying is like, some people do kill people for money. Mm. So some people are above or below I morals. Know, I don't know, I, you know, I can't comment you know, that's on that. A, that's I can't a, even comment. I can only comment on, from, from me knowing Chris, very nice guy, both of them junior and senior, very nice guys. Yeah. And I, 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 you know, I don't think they're, they're happy about what's happened and, you know, but, but yeah. They may be on media wise, but, you know, morally inside, they might be a bit uh, bad, you know, because Nick Blackwell's got family and stuff like that, but yeah. he's come out of it well, hasn't he, Nick Blackwell? I've yeah, seen him backstage, yeah. you know, taking his brother on the pads. Yeah, okay. So right. it's good, yeah, back to full health, I right. think. Hopefully. No, no, but, you know, you know, God bless him and, you know, what well, um, this time. But this interview is about you. I know, that's And your victory. Sorry, have I, have I uh, ruined your vibe? I'm full, I'm full. Are you alright? I'm absolutely full. Thank you. Yeah, congratulations yeah. anyway. Thank and, you, uh, appreciate I'll let you um, thank finish it off with something positive. If you uh, yeah, no, just, just you know, look forward to my next fight. Just, you know, keep, uh, you know, keep active, keep ticking. Uh, I may want to go up to six rounds straight away, uh, but I'll have a chat with my manager, Steve Woods, and my trainer, Lee Beard, mm. and Eddie Mustafa over in, in Vegas, and, uh, you know, go from there. And see what what weight is it? Light middleweight. Oh, light middleweight. There's a big uh, light middleweight world title fight. Uh, Liam yes. Smith against uh, Canelo Alvarez. Who, who do you think? Well, Liam's my brother, not, not, Oh, Liam as well. Not, not biological. You've got a lot of friends, haven't you? Uh, You're quite popular, I'm, I'm, I'm not going <laughs> to sound, you know, but anyway. You're but friends with all the top boxers. <laughs> Are you one of those people I'll, who I'll pretends leave, to be I'll, I'll, I'll leave you to uh, search my social media, go through my pictures. Oh, you've got a lot of followers. I don't yeah. want to... No, no, I, you probably see from my pictures uh, that I've, I've, I, you know, I've got a few oh, friends. I'll let you answer the phone, you know, I'll let you go. Uh, I'll let just you hold it a second, hold on right. a second, hold on a second. Hey, Matt, are you here? Perfect. All right, I'll be out in two minutes, two minutes. All right, mate, bye-bye, bye. That was Matt's Matthew Ashmore, Brennan. Another so, friend. No, well, we may, we've become friends now. all over the place, aren't we? I wish I was like, so I, said to him, you know. I said to him, I'm going to take him for dinner. We're going for dinner. I said, it's my treat. So, uh, you know, if, uh, you know if I was... Oh, sorry, what was I saying? Uh, sorry, what, what, oh, no, Liam, Liam Smith. Hold on, Liam Smith, sorry. Go on, go on. Yeah, Liam's, Liam's, Liam's a brother from another mother and, uh, you know, I, I, full support. Absolutely. Canelo is a, a beast. He's, he's one of the best. He's one of the top fighters, you know, he's, he's one of the best pound for pound fighters, there's no doubt. So, you know, Liam's of course going into town dock, but, you know, uh, tough fight for him. You know, my belief and prayers are with him. Uh, you know, whether he, he comes through or not, you know, he comes short. We lose a draw, he will surprise a lot of people. A lot of people are writing him off, you know, it's like that. But Liam's a tough guy. Uh, he's there's you know there's a lot of things he does good. Mm. His 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 uh, you know I've sparred with Liam a lot of times, and um, you know I, you know I like some of the stuff that he does. It looks you know it's basic, but it's, it's very good. It's very good technically. He he's got good understanding of distance. Yeah. Good work to the body. Um, you know, and he's going to surprise a few people. But you know, uh, you know, but you know, my prayers and support are with him, and hopefully he takes Canelo to the distance mm. and uh, really really you know and pulls it off. God winning. Well, we'll see how it goes tonight, and uh, yeah. we'll finish by saying you know, thanks for doing thanks all your time and uh, well done yeah. on your victory today. Cheers. Thank you. That was really Cheers. interesting. Cheers, Lewis. A pound free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre match football accumulators with four or more selections, and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now.